I'm Reed Mangles. I'm a registered dietitian. I have a doctoral degree in nutrition. I have a special interest in healthy nutrition for infants, for babies and children and teenagers and pregnant women. So I'm going to be, and healthy nutrition for vegetarian and particularly vegan um, children. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The first thing I want to say is that it's very possible to raise a healthy child on a vegan diet. One of the parts of the position paper of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, um, who has a position paper on vegetarian nutrition, which I co-authored twice, their position paper says um, vegetarian diets, including vegan diets, can be healthy at all stages of the life cycle, pregnancy, children, babies, adolescents, and even for athletes, which I won't talk about today. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the most important nutritional things to remember if you're raising a vegan child. So one of the most important things is to make sure that the child is breastfed in the very beginning. Breast, breast milk is the very best food for all babies. When the baby is weaned onto solid foods, it's important to provide some calories, some foods that are high in fats because that helps the baby's brain develop properly and foods that are good sources of calories. And some sources of calories would be grain foods, would be bean products, this is for vegan children of course, um, soft fruits and vegetables, well cooked fruits and vegetables, and then as the child gets older adding in other foods like nuts ground up so they don't choke. Even the littlest ones can eat avocados, a good healthy source of fats, um, applesauce, other foods like that. A very important nutrient for vegan infants and children is vitamin B12 because vitamin B12 is only found naturally in animal products. So including foods that have vitamin B12 added to them, fortified foods, is very important for the health of vegan babies and children. If the mother is breastfeeding, or if you're breastfeeding, your diet, the mom's diet, should have good sources of vitamin B12 in it so that the milk is healthy for the baby. So again, vitamin B12 can be taken as a vitamin supplement pill, and there are vegan vitamin B12 supplements, and then foods are fortified with vitamin B12. Depending on where you are, you have to read the label to see if B12 has been added to the food. Some um, vegan foods that do have vitamin B12 added are plant milks. Um, some of the fake meats or meat analogs have vitamin B12 added. So B12 is important for little ones. Enough calories is important for little ones. Um, making sure they have some good sources of calcium, which would be breast milk for the littlest ones. And then as they get older, using foods, um, starting to add some of the important foods like green leafy vegetables to their diet, cooking them well, blending them with a little bit of broth or fruit juice to make them smooth. That's another way to get some calcium. Iron and zinc are important nutrients for vegan infants and children. They play key roles in growth and in having healthy blood. Um, in some areas, baby cereals are fortified with both iron and more recently with zinc. If those are not available, um, using whole grains, dried beans, well cooked and well mashed so that the baby can digest them are another way to get some iron and zinc. Um, for babies who, and breast milk is not a good source of iron at a certain point, the babies need some extra iron. Some pediatricians or medical doctors will recommend iron supplements when the baby's starting to wean off of breast milk. So that's something to talk to your doctor about, um, whether any kind of iron drops are needed. Vitamin D is also important. Vitamin D is made by our skin when we're exposed to sunlight. Um, but if you're living somewhere where it's cold or you keep your baby really covered up, it's hard to get enough vitamin D. Um, vitamin D drops um, use the form of vitamin D that's made from sheep's wool, so that may not be acceptable, or it's not acceptable to a lot of vegan families. Um, alternatives would be foods fortified with vitamin D. So keeping in mind getting enough food, 
making sure the baby eats often, is breastfed, has a good source of these few important nutrients, and that you love them and enjoy them. I think you'll have a very healthy vegan baby.